All right, you guys, we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna mute you all so we don't have any background noise besides my background noise. I live in downtown LA, so sometimes it, you'll hear a lot of sirens, and when that happens, I just wanna talk, so just to let you know. Um, all right, you guys, so thank you for joining me with our first gymnastics session here. All right, so we're gonna be doing it once a week, and I also will be posting um, homework once a week on the group as well, so everything we'll be doing um, each session throughout the week will be a progression of the last one, right? So like next week, the stuff we're gonna do is gonna be a progression of what we did this week. And we'll work on like pistol progressions, handstand push-up progressions, basically whatever we can do inside the home, right? Without having um, a rig here to swing around from the bar or the rings. But all this stuff is of course gonna transfer over. And when we think about gymnastics, right? It's as simple as like, we're just making shapes with our bodies, but we wanna get really efficient and really good at snapping into those shapes, right? And a way to do that is obviously working on a lot of core strength. So a lot of the stuff we're doing, um, you know, is focusing on core strength, but we're making shapes in different ways and learning how that's all gonna transfer over. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with our warm up. And if I'm looking at my phone, it's just because I have uh, our whole lesson plan written there, right? So, all right, you guys, let's go ahead and start with um, inchworm, right? So basic, simple inchworm, but you're gonna give me some scapula push-ups, right? So I'm gonna start with my feet below my hips. I'm gonna walk my hands out small steps. And then when I get to here, I'm gonna think of squeezing my shoulder blades back, keeping the arms locked out for three scat push-ups. Then I'm gonna drop my hips. Then I'm gonna go into that down dog. Walk my hands back to my feet and then stand back up, right? So let's go ahead and do five of those, three scat push-ups. What I will also do is everything we do today, I'm gonna to post it in the Facebook group afterwards. It's a lot of stuff, so going over it in the chat would have taken more than enough time needed. All right, you guys, so five inchworms with three scat push-ups. When you're done with that, you can stay on the floor. Nice work. Then when we're done with those, we're gonna go into 10 Superman, right? So think of having thumbs up. And I want you to really try to squeeze your legs together as you're lifting your legs up and your chest, right? So squeezing those thighs together, and then you're gonna control it down to the floor for 10 reps. So 10 Superman. And then when you're done with your Superman, you're gonna stay on the ground, and we're gonna go onto our back. Jump the eyes, squeezing the legs together. All right. Uh, from here, we're going to go ahead and go into 20 hollow rocks, right? So I want them to be the best hollow rocks ever. So really think of smashing that, not smashing, I'm sorry, head through your arms, right? And then we're rocking back and forth, squeezing our butt, right? So the tighter we are in our boots, the more efficient we're going to be able to rock. Right? So if we're really struggling with these, I want you to go ahead and spend one of these. But I think most of us should be able to do 20. Good. Think of reaching those arms up, head through our arms, pointing those toes. When we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and stand on up. You're going to grab your chair and then your little weights or your water bottles. Oh, that was the other thing I said in the group. Um, if you guys can grab two small weights, like preferably each one is five pounds, no more or less. Um, if you don't have weights, you can grab two water bottles. Awesome, you guys. So over here, what we're gonna do with our small weights, we're gonna think of uh, reaching up towards the ceiling, head through our arms, we're gonna paint small circles. Right, you're gonna give me 10 small circles in one direction. So think of painting small circles with those fingertips up there, holding that object, and then 10 in the other direction. Head through your arms, bicep by the ear, keep the pelvis tucked up towards the chin, so don't overextend your low back. Right, go ahead and give me a set of 10 directions, 10 circles one way, 10 circles the other way. 
When you're done with that, we're then gonna go into a bent over position. So from here, shoulders back and down. I'm gonna push my butt back. I'm gonna focus on keeping the shoulder blades squeezed back as I open my arms up into a T. Hold it for a second, bring it back down. Then I'm gonna go into a Y. Hold it for a second and bring, bring it back down. You're gonna go ahead and give me five sets of that T and Y with a one second pause at the top. Really think of initiating that movement from the shoulder blades, right? Squeezing those back as you raise up into a T and a Y. Squeezing glutes, squeezing abs. When you're done with that, you're gonna stand back up and you're gonna give me another two more sets of your circles, 10 direction, 10 direction. 10 circles one direction, 10 circles the other direction, right? And then another set of your bench over T and Y for five sets. So two more rounds. Nice work, you guys. Like I said, really focus on initiating the movement through the shoulder blades, right? So they're squeezed back, keeping them squeezed back as you raise up to into your T and then your Y. Bent over position. Sarah, are you bent over? There you go. Yeah, make sure you want, we're in that tabletop position, you guys. Feeling it in our hamstrings. Warming up our shoulders. Awesome work, you guys. All this little stuff makes a huge difference, right? This accessory work is really important in having like healthy shoulders and healthy scap. So when you've done your three rounds, you can go ahead and just put your weights down. Nice work, you guys. Keeping those arms locked out on those circles. Good job. While you're finishing that up, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what we're gonna be doing next. All right, so next is uh, we're gonna grab our chair and we're gonna do an inverted walkout. So if you've done my class, sometimes we do that for a warm up. So let me show you real quick. I'm gonna have my chair. Uh, you're welcome to use a surface that's higher than a chair if you're already pretty comfortable on your hands. But you know, for today's class, we can start on a chair and maybe next week you can work up to like a higher surface. All right, so from here, I'm gonna go into an inverted position. I'm gonna think of squeezing my legs together. I'm gonna to be on my toes. I'm gonna to start with my head through my arms, right? I really have to squeeze my abs or my chair is gonna come out from underneath me. From here, I'm gonna think of walking my hands out. Right, I'm gonna to get to here. I'm still gonna to try to think of a hollow position. I don't want those hips to drop. Stay hollow. I'm gonna hold it for a second, right? And then I'm gonna walk my hands back in small steps. Hold it for a second, walk my hands back out. Hollow, hold it for a second. Walk my hands back in. You're gonna go ahead and give me five walkouts with a one second pause at the finishing position and a one second pause, one second pause at that starting position. Really think of keeping your legs squeezed together. If you need to, you can go to your knees, but I think most of us can do toes. Try to keep your arms straight as much as you can. Nice work, you guys. When you're done with those um, walkouts, we're going to move on to single leg wall sits, but not until you are all done. All right, you guys, now we're gonna go into a single leg wall sit. 
right? So obviously it's gonna be uh, pretty similar to a normal wall sit, except we're gonna have one leg off the ground. Okay, a couple of things you might keep in mind for this wall sit, and if you can kind of see me, if you can hear me. Um, I wanna have my hips uh, a little bit higher than my knees, right? I don't wanna have my hips as low as my knees, so a little bit higher. And then my ankles are gonna be in front of my knees, pushing me back, right? And from here, I'm gonna lift up my opposite leg. Ideally, I'd like you to flex your toes, right, and flex that leg. Or if you need to, you can place that leg on top of the knee if you're having trouble standing in this position. Right? From here, you guys are going to go ahead and count to 20 or you have a timer. And then you're going to switch legs. Right? Ideally, you want to accumulate 20, leg, 20 seconds on each leg right? um, at minimum 15. So let's go ahead and start your first set, you guys. We'll start together. We'll start together. We're going to start in three, two, one. Here we go. Whichever leg you would like to begin with. Think of having that ankle in front of the knee. Right, pushing you back against the wall. Nice work, squad. Squeezing glutes, squeezing abs. We're 10 seconds in. 15 seconds in. Three, two, one, 20 seconds. We'll go ahead and switch. And three, two, and one. Other leg, nice work, squad. Keeping that chest up tall, squeezing glutes, squeezing abs. I know you can feel those hamstrings firing up. 10 seconds in, 15 seconds in, three, two, one. All right, you guys have three more rounds of five walkout and then single leg wall sit, 15 to 20 seconds on each leg, okay? Three more rounds on your own. I'm gonna give you guys about like five to eight minutes, all right, we'll see how long it takes all of us. Rest in between your sets, right? Give yourself like a good 30 seconds in between your full round. Uh, but try to move steady. If your walkouts are tough, give me three, not five, right? It's all about doing good reps. So if 15 seconds on that wall sit is really, really hard for you, go ahead and just give me 12. Good movement. Nice three work, you guys. Four more rounds. What's up, Sarah? Is that three more rounds you said or four? Three more rounds. Okay. Of Might have said four, but I meant three because we're accumulating four. Nice work, you guys. Small steps with those hands. Nice work, Sarah. Nice, Becky. Good job, you guys. Think about, about your breathing while you're on that wall sit, right? Steady breathing. Nice work, Jamie. Good job, you guys, on those walkouts, really getting your head through your arms in that starting position. If your inverted walkouts feel a little easy, feel free to lift one leg in the air as well. You can try that. Nice work, MJ. Nice, Jamie. Quads working. <laughs> Good job, Emily. Nice work, Emma and Debbie. I know you guys are there. Good job, Aaron. Nice work, Russ.
Good job, Bran. Nice work, Michelle. Looking good, you guys. Are y'all done, John? Cool. Another 90 seconds, two minutes. Nice work, Stefano. All right, you guys keep it up. You're finishing up on those wall sits. Nice work, Sarah. Job, Michelle. Nice work, MJ. All right, Sarah, is that your last one? Cool. All right. Awesome, you guys. So I'll just go ahead and start talking about what we're gonna do next. So next we're gonna be doing donkey kicks, okay? So everyone's donkey kick's gonna look a little bit different depending on how comfortable they are getting it inverted and shifting weight onto, to their shoulders and their hands, right? So let me show you. So most people, uh, if they're not really familiar with a donkey kick, right? Yours most likely is gonna look something like this. We're gonna, uh, you're gonna start on your hands, hands are gonna be your shoulders. We're just gonna kick our legs up, right, to this position. Some of you might only get emotes to here because you're not very comfortable being on your hands. Ideally, you wanna try to continue to press those hands into the floor and really get those feet to the ceiling, right, as high as you can, and eventually extending our legs. So right now, you guys are just gonna go ahead and give me five donkey kicks. Just feel it out, see where you're at. Good. So the idea is we're kicking those legs up to the sky, but some of us are not quite there and that's totally okay. So you're just doing a donkey kick. Awesome. Good job, Rand. Thanks, John. Good job, you guys. So now after our donkey kicks, we're going to go into some candlesticks, all right? So candlesticks, uh, what you're going to think of doing is you're going to start standing. We're going to do them in a particular way. So I want you to think about the shapes, right? So in gymnastics, like for example, when they're doing muscle ups, we're constantly just making a shape, right? We're going from extension to hollow. So for right now, you guys are gonna stand in a hollow position with your hands above your head, right? Here on hollow, I'm gonna think of rock sitting back onto my feet. I'm oh, sorry, oh my gosh, sitting back onto my butt. I'm gonna roll onto my back. I'm gonna stay in a hollow position with my hands behind my head, and then I'm gonna come forward and stand up. Right, so we also have the option, if you're not very comfortable putting your hands behind your head, you can keep them by your side. Right, so but with that, you don't have as much of your arms giving you momentum. So I want you guys to go ahead and try out three candlesticks for me. All right, really think of using your body weight to roll yourself forward and stand up. Try it out, let's see where we're at. Think of really squeezing glutes, squeezing abs, and standing up tall. Nice, MJ. Think of that hollow position, head through your arms before you begin. Nice, Jamie. Good job, Aaron. Nice work, squad. Okay, so now you guys are gonna go back to 
You're gonna give me three more rounds of five donkey kick and five candlestick. All right, so five donkey kick, five candlestick. Don't get super sloppy with your donkey kicks, right? Maybe rest a couple seconds in between each one. Each time trying to press your hands into the ground a little harder, shifting that weight onto your shoulders and extending your legs up, okay? Three more rounds. Nice, Andrew. Nice, Jamie. Good job, you guys. Good job, Emily. Three more rounds. Hey, is it five candlesticks or three candlesticks? Five. Five and five. So five donkey kicks, five candlesticks. So the warm-up was three, I think. Good job, you guys. Really think of standing up tall when you're coming out of that candlestick. Good. Nice, Stefano. Good job, you guys. Nice, John. Corey, when you stand up out of the candlestick, should your feet be narrow or is it okay for them to be wide or wider? It's four, right? We, ideally, you know, we want to get to that point where they can be narrow, but a wide is totally okay. As we develop our body, we're having a narrow stance, we'll get easier. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Good job, you guys. Feel free to rest. Nice, Russ. Nice, Stefano. Good job, you guys. Really fight to stay engaged on those candlesticks. I know we want to just kind of roll around, but squeezing glutes, squeezing abs, more tension, the better, even on those donkey kicks. Becky, are we having a hard time with the candlesticks? <laughs> Can you get any? Did you get any candlesticks? Okay, you got a couple. Okay. Yeah, just really focus on squeezing those abs and using those arms to roll forward. Yeah, I just want you to know I'm in Alabama and it's hot as hell here. So, Is it? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's humid. It's so humid. <laughs> so much. We're happy to have you from so far away. All right, you guys, nice work, everybody. Give it about 30 more seconds. Looks like someone's finishing up. Nice, Sarah. Job, Jamie. All right, you guys, good job. So next we're gonna be moving on to a segmented pause handstand kick up, right? So there's a couple different positions you hit throughout your throughout kicking into a handstand and we wanna drill those in, right? So it's like, as we continue to get better at these basics, things like kicking up into a handstand, being inverted while you're doing handstand push-ups, like when your body knows how to get into these specific shapes, it makes you move more efficient and a lot easier, right? So you can do more reps or whatever you're trying to do. Um, so, let's say you're kicking up a handstand, right? So, when I'm going to kick up into the handstand, we're going to start in a position where you're going to have your hands above your head, head through your arms, right? This is our standing hollow position. And then from here, I'm going to step into a lunge, right? So, I'm going to step into this lunge. I'm not going to bend my back knee necessarily, just stepping into that forward lunge position. And then from here, I'm going to go into an REL. So, I'm going to lean forward, right? And then next, I would kick up 
onto my imaginary wall, right? So let's talk about those positions again. So this is gonna be position one, right? And then this is gonna be position two, sorry, two, and then this is gonna be position three, and then four is gonna be kicking up onto the wall, right? So one, two, three, four. And we're gonna pause for one second in each of those positions, right? So somebody may not have a wall near you where I'm gonna be able to watch you while you're doing this, right? But let's go ahead and do this together. I want you guys to face your wall, right? And you're gonna stand in your hollow position, right? Head through our arms. And then from here, we're gonna take a step forward into that lunge with our hands still above our head. And then now we're gonna reach to the floor, leaning forward, feeling that in our hamstring. And then now we're gonna reach for the floor, kick up, hold for a second, and then drop back down. All right? So you guys are gonna give me three more where you're pausing in your standing position, lunge position, RDL position, and pause for a second on your kick up. All right? Three more reps, just like that. Pause for one full second. And ideally, we don't want to have our hands on the floor when we're in that RDL position. Hands are off the floor. Stefano, can you do it with your hands out on the floor? Thanks, nice, Sarah. Yeah, Stefano. Good. That looked better. All right, you guys, good job. When you're finishing up those three reps, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do next. Nice, Russ. So Russ and I found out after one of the wads a couple weeks ago that we're neighbors. Like, Oh, really? How funny, that's awesome. <laughs> My husband was like, I think the guy next door is doing the same wad that you are. That's so funny. That's so awesome. What street do you live on? Because I think I've seen you like running. I'm sure you have. I live on Los Robles, like a couple houses in from Del Mar. Yeah, I'm on 405 I South Los Robles. I've Are seen you. you. And I also have seen whoever else is in their lawn on the video. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that's awesome. I think there's a lot of us. Taylor lives closer to California on Los Robles. Oh, <laughs> All right, you guys, next we're gonna be going into a tripod headstand. All right, so we're gonna think of our triangle that we normally have on the floor when we're gonna do any type of like handstand push up. So our hands are gonna be at the corner of that triangle, my head's gonna be at the top. I'm gonna to place my head down, and then I'm gonna move one knee to um, an elbow at a time, and I'm just gonna hang out there and hold that position for 20 seconds, right? In order to stay in that position, I'm gonna think of pressing my hands into the ground to create tension in my shoulders and my uh, upper body as it's inverted, so I stabilize into the ground, right? So from here, I'm hand in the corner of the triangle. I'm gonna place my head at the top of the triangle. If I press my hands down into the ground from here, I can feel my lats, right, activate, and that's what I wanna feel, because that's what's gonna help stabilize me, give me tension. So from here, right, so we're gonna hang out here for about 20 seconds, right? So I'm pushing my hands into the ground, creating tension, squeezing butt, squeezing abs. We're gonna hang out here for 20 seconds. So if you need something to protect your head a little bit more, go ahead and grab something. We'll get started in about like 20 seconds. All right, you guys, if you haven't started yet, we're gonna go ahead and start our 20 count together. All right, we're gonna go in three, two, one, here we go. Some of you might be pretty good in this position already, and if so, that's awesome. Just give us a little bit more time. 10 seconds in. Good job. Try to keep our knees on our elbows just for now. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you guys, nice work. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna give me uh, three more sets of three segmented handstand kickups, right? And then three headstands with a 20 second hold, right? Just knees to elbows, but if you're good with your headstand, you're more than welcome to extend your legs up if it's a movement you're familiar with, all right? So three more rounds of three segmented handstand kickups with one second pause in each of the positions, right? And then into a 20 second headstand. 
Do you need to do it like one leg? Oh, Michelle, I can't hear you really well. You need to do it sort of one leg um, leading each time? No, so uh, stick to one specific leg each time, right? So yeah, it's the same like when we split jerk. We don't ever really switch it up. So stick to your one strong leg that you're going to step forward with. OK. Right? What do you feel most comfortable with stepping forward to kick up into your handstand? OK, and we just kick up so we don't leave our hands on the floor and then kick up. No, you, your hands are off the floor. Once your hands hit the floor, that's when you're kicking up. OK, okay? cool. Savannah, so, you can have both legs on the ground until you finally kick up, right? Or your hands are off the ground until you finally kick up. Three more rounds. Good job, you guys. Nice work, MJ. Nice, Emily. Yeah. Also, you guys, if you don't have a wall near you, when you're kicking up into that imaginary wall, think of squeezing your legs together and pointing your toes to the sky, right? So squeezing your thighs together and pointing the toes to the sky to help create that tension. Nice, Emily. I know, I'm freaking out your neighbors. What? I'm freaking out your neighbors. <laughs> yeah, you'll probably get the police coming here soon. Yeah. Just be sure and put your garage door down. I will. Okay. I will. Nice work, you guys. Three more rounds. Do we do three rounds of 20 seconds or just one round of 20 seconds? Three rounds, so you do each movement back to back. So you do a three segmented handstand kick up and then your handstand hold for 20 seconds. Three, three yeah. for 20, right? Say what again? Three for 20 for one round. Yes. Okay. Nice, Emily. Good job, you guys. Nice, John. Are you done, Stefano? Cool. Nice, Russ. Good job, you guys. Really think of pressing those hands into the ground, squeezing those glutes as you extend your legs up, right? We're using our hips to kick up. Nice, Sarah. Try to point your toes to the sky, Russell. So extend your legs once you kick up. Yeah, that's better. All right, good job, you guys. Looks like most of us are finishing up.
Awesome. All right, so I'll just go ahead and start talking about what we're going to be doing next. Okay, uh, next we're going to be doing um, a negative descent step down, and then we're going to work on our shoot through position when we're going into a handstand push up from a raised object. All right, uh, so from here, what that's going to look like is we're going to have our chair or our box or whatever. I'm going to stand on my chair, right? And then from here, I'm going to think of pushing my butt back. I'm going to reach my hands forward. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to push my knee forward, right? So I'm going to do three seconds on the way down. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, tap, stand. And then whoop, my chair is really unsteady. And then one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to push that knee forward, working on that ankle function. You're going to give me seven reps with a three second descent. Go ahead and give me seven on each leg right now, you guys, with a three second descent. Pushing that knee forward, butt back. So we need another visual. Pushing forward, pushing the knee forward, butt back. Three seconds on the way down. Good. If you may like, you may totally hold a weight but your own body weight is good as well. Getting familiar with pushing that knee forward and keeping that heel down as much as you can. Is there a light in the garage? Oh, there it is. Good job, you guys. Nice, Michelle. How many? How many for each side? Seven each side. With a three second set. Nice, MJ. Good job, you guys. All right, uh, next thing, your head shoot for position. So you're gonna have your chair, right? So like when we would do a handstand push-up off a box, right? Even if we have handstand push-ups, so doing them off boxes or raised surfaces is another way to get better at them. Strengthening the position um, in a different, you know, different way. So from here, I'm gonna be on my chair, I'm gonna be inverted. Uh, so we're starting at that position where we're in that pike or down dog, and then here I'm gonna shift my weight forward to my shoulders and then back. So I have my weight, I'm uh, on my toes, legs together, squeezing butt, squeezing abs, shifting weight more to my shoulders, down onto my toes, and then back. You're gonna go ahead and give me four shoot throughs, four shoot throughs, and then another set of your seven step downs, with three second descent. Three more rounds. So after you do your warm up set now, you have three more rounds, right? So that's gonna be four rounds total. Nice. So on these uh, shoot throughs, really try to keep those legs squeezed together on your toes. What's up, Michelle? I'm, I'm the trouble student today. Can you repeat okay. that? No, it's totally okay. So yeah, it's okay. I got ahead of myself. So you guys, ha you're going to do your shoot throughs right now, right? That's going to be one round done, but we have three more to go. Does that make sense? Yeah. For the shoot through, are you ending almost in that like perfect pike, perfectly over your shoulders, or is it a little more spread out? Think more of like when you're going into your tripod position, right? So then you shift your weight through your shoulders to where your head's aiming to the top of that triangle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, Sarah. Hey, are the single leg uh, thingies, do yep. I put my weight over my knee or over my uh, I want you to put your weight, 
pushing, pushing your knees forward, right? So we're trying to work on that ankle flexion. So if you're pushing, if your shin stays vertical, like I think you're kind of doing, because you're doing more of this, you want to push the knee forward, right? Keeping the butt on top of the ankle. Okay. Okay? We'll see your next one. I think you'll, you'll know what to do now. Yeah, that's better, Russ. Good. Nice work, you guys. Good job, MJ. Thanks for Emma. for Becky. Looking good, Andrew. Good job, you guys. Keep it up. Jamie, start with your hands more underneath your hips. Walk your hands back a little further. Yeah, good. Good. And then as you peek your head through, Jamie, think of shifting your weight that's on your toes more forward so you're really on your toes. Good, yep, so like you feel your quads engage, trying to stabilize you. Oh no, Russ, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Joe said go team Corey you cut out you go cut team out. Corey oh now I can hear you Woo thank you I said go team Corey <laughs> thank you awesome you guys keep it up Nice run. Nice work, you guys. Good job, Aaron. Nice work, MJ. Jamie. Good job, you guys. When you're done, we don't need our chair anymore. We're going to be using a wall. Nice, John.
Sweet, you guys. Looking good. Thanks for Stefano. Good job, Jamie. Got one more thing, one more finisher, and then we'll be done. Stefano's finishing up. All right. Yeah, so like I said, you guys are done with your chair. We're just going to use a wall next. Um, I'm going to move my chair, and then I think someone will be done. And then we'll get started. Okay, so we're going to be doing uh, three rounds. We're going to do 15 seconds of a front support hold. On that front support hold, hold I'm going to be pushing my feet into the wall. So I'm going to show you what that's going to look like. So I'm going to be here. Here's my wall behind me. I'm going to be on my toes, right? So the wall is going to be behind me. I'm going to be on my toes. Leaning forward. Let's try to be on our toes as much as we can. I know some of us will have a hard time with that. We'll, uh, we'll have their heels back more and whatever that's fine. But as we are in class, try to be more so on your toes, pulling yourself forward where your lats are engaged when you're in that position. All right? So I'm going to be here pressing my toes into the wall. And then I'm just not going to be a, a regular plank. I'm going to think of pulling my hands um, underneath me a little bit more in my lat region and my armpits. Right, so I'm in a front raise. Right, so I'm gonna be here for 15 seconds. After 15 seconds, we're then gonna line the ground and we're gonna go into a partial wall walk. Right, so I'm gonna start in down dog. I'm gonna walk my feet up the wall, and then from here, we're gonna hang out here for 25 seconds. Right, so we'll be in that position for 25 seconds, and then right after that 25 seconds, we're gonna go into a full wall walk. Right. And that whole wall walk, we're going to be there for, I think, 40 seconds. So from here, after 25 seconds, I'm going to walk my hands, go into a full wall walk, toes on the wall. We're going to hang out there for a little bit. We're going to hang out there for about 40 seconds, and then we're going to come off the wall. And then we're going to go into a long, hollow hold. Long, hollow hold is we're trying to keep our arms long, head through our arms, toes long in front. Right, so I want you guys to do your best to hold each position as long as you can. When you're in that wall walk, when you're actually up against the wall, it's crucial that you don't have your hips smashed into the wall. Someone should be able to slide their hands up the wall in between you and your body, right? So your body and the wall, so that we're not pressing our low back, right, into that position. Anybody have any questions? We're gonna rest uh, 90 seconds in between each round. So after we hit all four positions, we're then gonna rest 90 seconds. Cool? All right, so let's go ahead and get to our wall. We're gonna start in our front leaning raise position. We're gonna do that for 15 seconds. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one, front leaning raise. Try to have your arms, your fists underneath your armpits and you're leaning forward. Yeah, good job, you guys. About 10 seconds in. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna line our belly, and then we're gonna go into that partial wall walk, right, where we're at an angle. So go ahead and go in down dog, walk the feet up. You can keep your hands where they're at, or walk them out just a little bit, and now we're gonna hold that for 40 seconds. I'm sorry, 25 seconds. Jeez, I'm getting my times mixed up here. 25 seconds. We are 10 seconds in, you guys, 10 seconds in. Nice work, really think of pushing those palms into the ground, squeezing glutes, squeezing abs. All right, we've got about five seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna go into a full wall facing handstand hold, full wall facing handstand hold. Here we go, going for 40 seconds. Nice work, you guys. About 20 seconds in. If you have to come off the wall, come off the wall. That's totally okay. 15 seconds. Good job. Keep going. Five, four, 
three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. Go ahead and rest. 90 seconds of rest begins now. All right, so we do what we can, and you can't stay up there that whole entire time. That's totally okay, right? Your, your shoulders will develop that capacity over time. Hey, Corey, were, were we supposed to do the hollow hold? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Oh, my God. My bad. Because people are coming off the wall. We're going to do that next round. We'll do it next round. Thanks, guys. I know. I'm like, we need the break anyway. We've got about 45 seconds. I don't really have a wall. Oh, you don't? No. What about the door? Does the door work? Or is um, it it, there's kind of like a step, you know, like underneath it. You can oh, try. darn. Is that your door? Yeah. What if you go inside, like right in front of the door? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay, let me try. Okay. All right, you guys, we're going to start in about 10 seconds. All right, we're going to go into our front leaning raise for 15 seconds. Partial handstand holds for 25. And then I got my time next up. The other one is going to be 30 seconds for your handstand hold and 15 seconds for your hold. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Front leaning raise, let's go. Try to be on your toes. That's weight, the weight shifted forward into your shoulders, hands underneath the armpits. Five, four, three, two, one, all right, lie down and you're gonna go into your wall walk. We're gonna be here for 25 seconds. Partial wall walk, you're at an angle. Good, holding that there. 10 seconds in you guys. Do what you can, keeping your hips not sagging towards the floor, but up towards the ceiling. 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Let's go all the way up to the wall. 30 seconds from here. Good job, you guys. 10 seconds in. Squeezing glutes, squeezing abs. Try to keep that pelvis tucked up towards the chin, but no hips sinking on the wall. 12 seconds. We got this, you guys. Woo, five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's not forget about our hollow hold. <laughs> 15 seconds. Three, oh, uh, two, one, and go. Don't worry. Why are you worried? I'm a grown man. Yeah, but you don't know. Keep squeezing, keep breathing. Eight seconds. Property. You guys stay right here. Yeah. Five, four, three, sure. two, and one. Oh. All right. Good job, you guys. One more round. 90 seconds of rest. Hey, people can't hear that. It's a little computer. If they could hear that, they need to shut the Turn it on. What's that? You gotta turn it back on. Oh, one minute? Thirty seconds. All right.
right, you guys. We're going to get started in that front leaning raise in about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, 15 seconds. Here we go. Nice work. Hands underneath the armpits. Weight shifted into the shoulders. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna lie down, go into down dog, go into that partial wall walk. You're only up the wall halfway. All right, 30 seconds. Sorry, 25 seconds. 10 seconds in. Nice work, 10 seconds you guys, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, all right. Up the full wall. All right, here we go, 30 seconds. We got it, you guys, squeeze butt, squeeze abs. I know we're shaking, squeeze. Try to stay tight, 15 seconds. Woo! Come off the wall, that's okay, you guys. Here we go, seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna go to that long hollow hold in about five, four, three, two, one. Long hollow hold, point those toes away from you, reaching those hands way past your head, behind you, good. Nice work, squad, eight seconds. Good job, MJ. Nice work, Michelle. Good job, Russ. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Nice work, you guys.